Welcome back to another episode of Dub 2 Alpha's Talk. Yes, we've been on hiatus for a little bit, but we're back. The reason we've been there, because we've been looking at this one thing that's been going on right now, gun control. Mm -hmm. And all you clowns that voted for the Democratic Party, now we got something to look forward to. Now, with all the days, uh, we had the shooting in Boulder, we had mm -hmm. the shooting, what was the other shooting? At? Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, they're trying to blame it on white supremacists or running around killing folks, which is not even true in both cases. But they're using that to push and launch gun control, which is uh, what we all told you was, was going to happen. And so, sure enough, it's happening. Systematically. And what's going to happen is they're going to legalize the fact that uh, legally armed and dutiful citizens are now going to be the target. So if you bought a gun and you legally carry a gun on a regular basis and you did all your permits and you got everything legit, you are the subject. You're the target. Right. So uh, it's, they're not talking about just uh, going after illegal guns. Mm -mm. They're going after guns that you own and you just bought. And they just don't want those, the, with the new laws they got coming out, they're just not going to no, they're grant proposals. Them. They're still proposals. Proposal. <laughs> Yeah, there's, they passed, some of them passed mm -hmm. the House, but they had not passed the Senate. And I'll tell you the reason by that in a little bit. And so they're not going to grandfather any of the guns in. So it means what you own before is not going to, they're not just going to say, okay, it's a grace period. You can keep those. Just don't carry it. Don't use it. What they want is mom and pop, the average citizen, the, the, um, the, the person who's not a criminal, to turn in and do a confiscation of all firearms. That's eventually. Eventually. And, and we're looking at being punished as a law-abiding citizen. Never committing a crime, uh, not even, you know, anything remotely, no um, insurrections, none of that. Anybody that has a firearm will be illegal. Right, and they're going to go after rifles, shotguns, semi-automatic semi -automatic first, mm -hmm. then they're coming after pistols. If yep. you don't believe me, look at California. California is a prime model and example of what they've been doing and what they want to do nationwide. Yeah, for, for that matter, you look at the coast. They got us surrounded. New York, California. Yeah. And then they're going to just squeeze, squeeze that craziness in the, in the middle. And if you pay attention to what the, the uh, schematic of the whole thing, you got Chicago, you got uh, New York, and now they infiltrated the South. They're coming yeah. in around the South. You got places that were traditionally red states, now blue. Right. And uh, I forgot the gentleman's name. But he had told his people to move to these locations and vote Democratic. Democratic. And then we just look at it and say, oh, that's stupid, that's silly. But these people are smart. They have a plan, and they're working their plan. They're infiltrating. Mm -hmm. So what you got to consider is what is the plan that they have for the American people after they get rid of the Second Amendment. Yep. So they're not, in, like I said, they're not trying to let you keep your guns. They want to get rid of them. There's no such thing as common sense gun laws. No. We have common sense gun laws already. We have, you have to get a permit. You have to, uh, have, there's already a waiting period. You have to be, uh, fill, out, fill out a background and give permission for them to run the background check on you in order for you to buy a firearm from a, a FFL, right? Then when you, you add all of that into this, you're abiding by the law. Why do I have to be punished? But the thing of it is, why are they not treating it the way they treat drunk drivers? Mm -mm. They don't go after the car manufacturer nope. or the drunk driver. They go after the driver. Right. So they're not even trying to go after the driver. Just like this guy in Boulder, he was on the FBI list. They mm -hmm. knew about it. Right. FBI knows about a lot of these guys, but they don't do anything because it fits their political agenda. If I'm not mistaken, it's nationally and federally illegal to murder. Yes, it is. So there's punishments for that already. What's happened is those punishments do not uh, repel people from murdering. Right. And that's it. It, it. The punishment, whether it's uh, life in prison or even the potential of, like in here in the state of Georgia, the potential of, of being executed. And, doesn't and matter. police are not there to save you. Mm -hmm. Police are there to clean up after. Yep. And that's what's going to happen. Now that's in the best case scenario. With, a whole lot with, other stuff with, with police, uh, BLM and everybody wanting to um, uh, uh, defund the police, they noticed that crime has been going up. Mm -hmm. And in those areas that have been trying to defund police. So exactly. um, now they want to bring the police back. Mm -hmm. So if you can't protect yourself, you're going to be... SOL, basically. And remember, the other thing as well is that 
the police are the government. Right. They're not a separate organization. It's not like, you know, you got uh, different factions around the country. The police work for whatever metropolitan. They uh, will follow those orders to come and confiscate. Yep. Your local police will. The FBI and the ATF will mm -hmm. come for those guns. You mm -hmm. guys thinking, oh, they're my buddies and my friends and they won't? They will. And one of these bills that, that was uh, recently proposed was um, almost 800 more employees for the federal government. Why? Because they need to get this federal database in place. Mm -hmm. And once they get this federal database in place, then they have access to who has what, then they're going to come and get them. And everyone else that we, I just spoke about, how you go and get your license, and these people say, oh, they don't know what I have. You just got a license to carry a firearm. Why? Why? Why would you get a license to carry a firearm if you don't have a firearm? They know those registries are already in place from any person, including the two of us, who legally go out and they apply to their government to say, can I carry a gun? They now know that that person at least has one gun, at least one gun. So, what can you do? Well, the Senate can't pass any bill unless it's a 60 vote count. Right now, the filibuster is stopping it. They're trying to get rid of the filibuster. If they get rid of the filibuster, they're going to ram everything through because it'll be a 50-50. Uh, so, also, too... With a tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Try to get in touch with your local officials in your state if they're not Democrats, because Democrats ain't going to help you. If they're a conservative or Republican, try to get in touch with them and see if they can make your counties, your states sanctuary gun states so that means they don't listen to any of the federal laws and, okay? and it's possible right do your homework go to this website if you can if you can see that if you can't we'll figure it out and do something about gun control and fight don't sit on your ass and wait all right all right see, see you in the range, range.